Biden is set to unveil a sweeping new executive order aimed at improving the nation's caregiving capabilities. The president is expected to sign the order later this afternoon. So the order includes more than 50 directives to almost every cabinet level agency. It aims to expand access to affordable, high quality care while providing support for care workers and family members who are relied upon for assistance. CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Jiang joins us now. Weijia, this sounds good on face, but tell us uh, how effective it will actually be. How far-reaching will this executive order go? Well, it's far-reaching to the extent that he has asked every agency to basically look at their budgets and see uh, where there might be more resources uh, to dedicate to child care. But you're absolutely right. This is a directive. So the president is well aware that his executive powers are limited. What he can do is to direct these federal agencies to look for ways to make child care cheaper and more accessible. Um, but in terms of you know what it will do once he signs it, which is expected to happen later this afternoon during a ceremony at the Rose Garden, it's still dependent on uh, what these various agencies can independently come up with. Now, there are a wide range of ideas, for example, to lower co-pays for some services. There are other provisions that uh, seek to make Medicare and Medicaid dollars go even further. Others will try to look at new ways to improve care for veterans. HHS is supposed to be um, giving more money for educators in the Head Start program, so early education is made a priority. But again, this all depends on resources available because senior administration officials are also making clear um, that this is not new spending, which, as you guys have been covering, is a very sensitive topic here in Washington right now when it comes to new spending. And so they say that uh, these agencies will look at existing policies and funding that's already allocated and try to see if they can move some things around. I see. So only if you have some loose change. Uh, that's the message for the agencies. If you don't, uh, no funding is coming with it. I understand that the White well, yeah. House... So they're being directed to take a look at this. I, I just wanted to ask you about, you know, there's a very serious intruder problem at the White House. What can you tell us about what happened there today? <laughs> Well, we know that somebody was able to get through the gates. If we have a picture, we can show you. Um, we are still waiting to find some details about uh, this intruder. But there you see <laughs> it's a toddler who apparently squeezed oh, through the no. gate at 1600 Pennsylvania very quickly I mean, so attended, <laughs> and uh, reunited with his parents after some questioning. But, uh, you know, Lana, you have toddlers. <laughs> Lily, I know around children all the time so you guys know that um when when they're uh, you know want to see something they'll find a way to do it and so apparently that's what happened today uh no one was hurt and the toddler was reunited with his parents and they they Nick, is those, i mean i don't know exactly where he, he went through but i do remember my brother at some point attempting something like that and needing a lot of assistance to get his head unstuck from the bars well it also underscores oh, the yeah. point I'm about sure uh, the need for child care right <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That that stresses the point of these orders. Ouija, thank you so much. You're welcome.